Today I'm going to lower my Q7. I have my little setup here, laptop, door has to be closed for it. So I'm going to connect the HDS here. Yeah. Yeah. The engine will have to be running, but if the engine is running, VCDS won't connect. So start the ignition first, connect VCDS, and then start the engine. Car is to be on auto or comfort. I set it to auto. And then you need to measure all four corners and then add the, um, you'll have to add in millimeters the amount of, that you want to lower because that will make the car think that it's sitting higher than it should and then it will lower itself down. So this is all good to go. from the center of the wheel to the bottom of the fender. So here it's 450. To lower this, you have to go to select control module, 34 level control, and you need to sort of sign in. You go to here, security access. And as you can see there, enable adjustment. Yeah, there. It says enable adjustment. So the code is 315-64-31564. Do it. Accept it. And then you go to adaptation and channel 01, which will be front left. And you'll need to wait because now it's like sort of finding it out. So that's done. So it says 449 and I have on my measurements 450. So the new value 
it says now enter so new value I want 12 at the front so it will be 461 461 and then test and it accepted there it says valid so save yes and then channel 02 it's front right 449 again so the value will be the same 461 and test valid save now we're going to the rear wheels which is channel 3 and 4 rear left 465 well, my measurement was 460 so I'm looking 15 will, will be 480 then to get this lowered 480 test valid save Now channel zero four four six five so again four eight zero test valid save and now to get this all saved you have to go to channel five and then new value you're gonna select one and the, the channel 5 is for you to save all your process just doing each wheel at a time won't do it and the car is going down now so now done go done go back And that's it, that's how you get it done. Now that this is done, I'm gonna disconnect. Now it's all lowered up and it's looking really really nice. There's almost no fender gap there now. And this is dynamic mode. So in dynamic now it's pretty nice and lowered. And those are 22s, so it, it definitely needed lowered. And I'm really happy with the result now. If you guys weren't unclear on anything, I'm always here ready to help any questions. So don't hesitate in commenting and give it a like too. Thank you, see you next time.